Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hello, you are spiritually connected with Katiba, that's for sure. All right, y'all, so I'm about to do a update on my garden. Man, are things going good. Literally just started my garden this year, and I've been eating a ton of food. A lot of stuff been growing back. And I'm just about to show y'all, so... Let me tell y'all, I was about to pull up this kale thing a couple of weeks ago. I thought that he was done, but he's growing new healthy leaves. So I'm going to just leave them. Like, a lot of the leafy greens, they grow themselves back. Like, collard greens. So we had a, um, we had a caterpillar infestation here on the collard greens. They tore them up, they ate them up. But now, like, this stuff was all cleared out. We just chopped them off because the, um, they ate which ones was good but now these are literally growing back and they look so good and healthy so it's crazy um sage over here doing amazing tomatoes them got ate all up but they still they have still grew like this they still growing new ones so we're really not gonna pull it up until it's completely done um cucumber plant here I didn't get to show you guys my my last cucumber plant, but um, we ate cucumbers. They wasn't the best cucumbers. Definitely a learning experience, but we did get to eat them. They didn't get the biggest either. So last time we had four things, four plants in here. This time I'm just putting two to see how that goes. This is uh, ginger or turmeric there. Cauliflower and broccoli. It got too hot for them, and they got infestated by the um, by the caterpillars as well. So I probably just pull them up. This is more cucumbers. Now I got a lot of plants that I just started here. Kale, collard greens. Um, this is a tomato. And all of these, tomato, 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 tomato. Like literally every seed popped. And all of the plants are doing healthy. Tomato. These sweet potatoes. This is an old collard green that we had. More tomatoes. Like everyone literally popped. Um, this is a, a pineapple I tried regrowing, but for some reason I just can't get it right. It just die right off, so I don't know. I'm gonna try again though. Each time I get a pineapple, it's definitely worth it. Another tomato. Here is my pepper plant. Like I haven't bought a pepper in months. This one is turning red. We're gonna harvest some soon. I got four plants in here, y'all. Four plants and not a lot of soil. So sometimes they say you need a lot of soil, a lot of space. Um, you do the more space you give your plants the bigger that you allow them to grow so this is another pepper plant I don't know what he's doing we ate all the peppers off but it seemed like he's trying to grow more peppers but he's taking his precious time but we're going to leave them in leave those two in there you know to see what they do or whatever let's see anything else up here just sweet potatoes, lips growing, new sweet potatoes that I just started. Um, yeah, so let me go show you guys my da -da -da -da. my cantaloupe. Now, if you see my grow watermelon grow video, um, the watermelons was not growing. They clearly needed more space. They wind up dying, so not growing and dying so i wound up just um digging them up now the cantaloupes are doing really good and we actually gonna do a cantaloupe harvest very soon but i'm gonna show y'all this right here and i'm so proud of myself this is literally my first time growing cantaloupe so this is my jungle the pool i see why people shoot make sure the dog running up on me um i see why people um when you start a garden, you, you like, take all the grass out and stuff and have the dirt. Otherwise, you'll get this literally all around your plants. So, we got the kiddie pool there. And look at this big 
cantaloupe. Look at that. He is about ready to eat. But he got a small one there. And another one doing good. He getting his texture there. Like, I'm so proud. I think it's going to be so good, too. I cannot wait. I might actually eat it in front of y'all as well. So I'm just uh, very ecstatic, very proud of myself. This stuff is easy, y'all. This stuff is easy. I see why they, you know, people selling this stuff like crazy. Like, why? I mean, they, the average person thinks that it's hard to grow food or it's not worth it. They need some inspiration to grow it. Oh, does it cost less? Like, if you want to know, does it cost less? Absolutely, because guess what? You can get a pack of seeds for 2 $3.00 and you might pay two three dollars per plant like a candle or organic cantaloupe in the store costs like um four or five dollars the pack of seeds didn't even cost five dollars and i literally probably get like who knows like 20 30 seeds in the pack so you do the math and then the soil you can reuse you make an investment on the soil you make investment on your containers or you could just put it right in the ground so man it's real easy y'all it's real simple you know it's in your food you get fresh food you ain't gotta worry about your stuff you know you your shelf life is a little bit longer and um yeah man it's just it's just well worth it you know i'm not trying to talk anybody into the reasons why they should start a garden because you gotta find your own why you gotta be motivated by something to um to want to start you a garden like even if you you know don't know how to cook or whatever like you can grow lettuce you can grow like cantaloupe watermelon i'm gonna be growing some more watermelon um real soon so i keep you guys updated on that but man ain't nothing to it but to do it <laughs> so i just want to encourage you guys to start you a garden i'm trying to think i hope i'm not leaving out any plants i mean i got some more sweet potatoes over here but i know that they are they're small as well look how much soil i got in there and it's literally like six plants in there i already harvested some they were very small but they taste really good it was my favorite kind of uh, sweet potatoes i think it's jewel or japanese um, sweet potatoes So yeah, if you see jewel or Japanese sweet potatoes in the store grab both one of them is much better than the other Ugh, So good. I don't know which one it is. And I don't know which one I planted. So label your stuff as well Make sure you label all your stuff keeping up with your stuff. Oh, I got one more plant too here This is a tomato plant literally from one cherry tomato. This is a cherry tomato that we had That came off of this plant and he had all these seeds in there and every single one seemed like it sprouted so we got to get them into their own space like that's free food i'm gonna be doing um i'm gonna be doing a video about how you can grow food with no money very soon so Turn on those post notifications. Hit the subscribe button, you guys. Stay spiritually used. Stay spiritually in tune. And I will see you guys next time.